What's going on you guys? I hope you should I change up my intro? Should I try something new? No, forget that. What's going on you guys? I hope you're staying blessed, motivated, driven to achieve your goals regardless of what they are. And I hope whatever it is that you're getting after it. I just finished training up some legs, felt incredible. Like I told you guys already, training with Mike Rashid online and his leg day is pretty nuts. He's got me doing some reverse lunges. He's got me doing a century set on the leg press. If you guys are unaware of what a century set is, if you know the word century means, that's what it is. You wanna try to get to 100 reps as quickly as possible. If you could do 30 reps straight, that's great. That's what you wanna do. Take a quick five count, right back into it, bang out another 15. Now you're at 45, only 55 more to go. And that's essentially what you wanna do. You wanna keep pushing until you get to that 100 mark. Then from there, some close stance squats. They're incredible. They definitely burn up the quality. Then from there, went into some dumbbell deadlifts. Then from there, went into some hamstring curls, calf raises, the list goes on. But it's incredible. One thing that I did is I would always aim for eight to 10 reps. In this routine, I'm being pushed to go for 15 to 20 reps, four sets rather than three sets. And like I was explaining to Jenna, when your body's accustomed to doing three sets and you add that fourth set in, that could be the difference between getting to where you wanna be and not getting there. So sometimes it's just the minor tweaks that you need to do to your routine to get to where you wanna be. So while I was at the gym, I had kind of a realization. I was listening to a devotional and essentially coming to the realization of how important it is to have a partner who's on the same page. Whether that be your wife, whether that be your fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be, it's super crucial to be on the same page right from the get-go. And as you go through things, as you learn things about each other, it's really important to not be stuck in your ways and to adapt, to grow, to learn. If something comes along that you realize doesn't fit well in your relationship, try and kick it out of your life. But I just posted it on Facebook. I figured I would talk to you guys about it real quick just because Jenna doesn't really watch my vlogs anyways. So, perfect opportunity. One thing about Jenna is she's super patient, she's super kind, and she's very compassionate. She's very caring towards other people. Anybody who's known Jenna, even for a little bit of time, would be able to tell you that. But me, luckily, I've been able to experience it over a longer period of time. But that's one thing outside of talking about fitness or talking about training. It's really important that you grow as an individual in areas that your partner needs you to. If you're not growing, you're most likely gonna push the other person away. And if you don't have that strong bond and that connection or that reason to be together, a lot of people nowadays just walk the other way. I've been lucky enough to be with Jenna and we have this, this pact, so to say. As Christians, as followers of Christ, we believe that you work through everything. Obviously, there are certain things, even biblically, that can cause for that separation. But that's one thing, like, for example, cheating. It's never something I would do. It's never something Jenna would do. So at that point there, there's really no cause for separation. If there's something that irks her, that really upsets her about what I do, it's just about communicating it to me and me being open-minded enough to change it and not be stuck in my ways and push back and be hard-headed about it. No. Okay. Whew. I thought it wasn't filming and I was like, great. Now I have to go through all that again and try and figure out exactly what I said. But we were filming. So with all that being said, guys, if you do have a partner, if you're lucky enough to have somebody in your life who loves you and cares for you, do whatever you can. Try to make the adaptations to be the person they need. There are things that you've picked up throughout your life that you might think, no, this is just who I am, but it's not necessarily. It's not necessarily who you were meant to be and who they need in their life. If you guys were meant to be together, then there are gonna be things that you need to change. There's no way you could have lived a perfectly sheltered life to not pick up any bad habits, to not pick up any irritabilities. In my opinion, it's impossible. There's always gonna be things to work on, always gonna be things to adapt. So, like I said, if you're lucky enough to have somebody in your life, just make that change. Try and work towards being better for them, being better for yourself, and just watch how things start to adapt and change. But with all that unusual talk put aside, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you're staying blessed, motivated, driven to achieve your goals. Make sure, if you haven't already, you click that subscribe button. Make sure to click the bell notification button right Right next to it the challenge is still coming do not worry i have not forgotten it is on its way drop a comment below let me know what you think if there's anything that you need to work on whether it's fitness related whether you have something to say about your relationship or things that you want to change but not sure how let's talk let's talk over youtube facebook snapchat twitter instagram TikTok, because i'm on there but make sure you're living your life to your full potential whatever it is whatever you want to do you know you can do it you just have to put your mind to it and choose to make that difference so with all that being said guys you have a great day and we'll catch up with you guys on the next one
two hours later. So now it's time to get changed, gonna head home. Jenna and I picked up a rower today, so it's gonna be nice to wake up, start the day off with some cardio, not have to leave the house. But we'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Peace, guys.